Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to day five here on Try Hack Me. It's Adam the Cyber, and today we're going to talk about reverse engineering. Now, reverse engineering can be many different things. It can be all from reverse engineering actual source code to another language. It can be how did they do it, and you're going to try and make up the code or make up the process, something like that. Reverse engineering is a big process, can be many different things. In this particular exercise, we are tasked to access this DOS prompt, uh, which I have open right here. And they are asking us a variety of different questions. Now, first of all, I want to talk about what is magic byte file signatures. Okay, so every file in every operating system, at least Linux and Windows as we know it, all files have a magic byte signature, right? What is that? Usually when you think about a file, it's something you open in an editor or something like that, you double tap it, it it's named .text or .jpg or something like that, and it opens up in the correct program. Now opening a, a, a file up in the correct program basically means that the extension of the file is locked inside the operating system, so when you click a file, well double click on a file that have a corresponding uh, extension that the operating system knows that you locked it for, a program will be associated with that file and that stream of data will be opened in that program and rendered in some certain way. So if you don't know a file signature and it is not a direct text file, the content of a file can be kind of random to look at and I think there's actually an image here, something like this, right? It could be look like that, and you don't know what it is. Maybe it says hello.exe. Is is it an actual executable file, or is it just me saying this is a JPEG, and then I renamed it to .exe to tease you, right? I can do that. You will not know it. So if you change the magic bytes, which is always in the start of the file, the very first bytes, that is the bytes that's going to tell the operating system what is the file actually not the extension, it is the magic bytes. So I hope you understand that so far. Okay, so the task is as follows. How large in bytes is the AOC2023.bac file? Let's first of all type de. I think we were tasked to go inside the tools and then de to view the uh, folder. And let's go into the backup, de one more time. And we can see that there is a text file right there, and they do talk about the AOC back file. Let's see if it is inside edit. Uh, it is not inside edit. Where did they actually save that file? It is right here. I totally missed it. It is 12,704 bytes. That is the correct answer. What is the name of the backup program? Now, we don't know that, but I think we should go ahead and check out tools. You can also type ls in this particular uh, for, for, um, prompt. You know, I just, it was just a, a, a casual coincidence that my fingers hit ls because I'm so used to Linux. Let's go into backup right now. And I think the readme file would, would be probably a good idea to... So they want me to use the editor right here. We're giving a variety of different kind of commands we can use. So let's do this here. We can use editor to edit or something. So let's do edit and then readme.txt. And inside here we have a name of something called Backup Master 3000. So let's go ahead and type that in as the answer. Backup Master 3000. All right, so what should be the correct bytes of the backup file signature to restore it to the, uh, to restore the background, the backup probably. Now, <clears throat> we would probably need to know what kind of signature the backup should be. And if that is the dot exe we're talking about, well, then we need to do a dot exe uh, signature to the file. Let's first of all get out of this. So let me see if I can do that with the mouse and exit. 
Look at how well DOS was in the old days. Actually, it's a lot better than Linux Prompt when it comes to using the mouse inside. I'm not going to compare Linux right now to DOS, but there are some things to DOS that I really, really like. So we had the backup file right here, which is the AOC. So we can go ahead and type edit now, AC 2023.back. And we can check out the very first two bytes. They are X and X, which is also what they did actually instruct us to see when we opened the file. Now, if this is a guided walkthrough, we can go ahead and type in the file signature for an exe file, which is exactly, let me see where it was. Uh, did they have it right here? They did not have it right here. I should just put a table showing the .exe file. So, but they tell us what it is. They tell us it should be 41, 43, and we can convert that inside this editor, which is the one they also have to open right here, which is linked to right there. We're gonna get the one called AC. So we can go and type in, what was it again? 41, 43, convert, it's gonna be AC. So we can go ahead and type edit AC. And then we can go ahead and say file, save, and file, and exit. Exit, please. Now, so now that we have altered the file, we can go ahead and check out the Burmaster program in order to restore it. Now, I know it jumped just a tad my image, but you know, I had some issues with the connection of the machine, so I kind of had to reconnect, and I also scrolled in that time, so, well, that is the way it is. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and run the boo master, boo master.exe. And if you don't know how to make the backslash, you can go ahead and hold Alt GR down and do 0092 on your keyboard. It's gonna generate the backslash as the, from the ASCII code. That is at least how I did it. And then do that. That is going to give us the flag. And we're gonna go ahead and type in the answers now. It's gonna be 41, 43. And we have to, I guess we have to type this, try hack me. And then let's do old school. Cool, dude. <laughs> I definitely have to alter some of the special characters. I think I typed it right right now. I did not, uh, let's see, old schools with the double O, and I guess also cool is double O, yeah, no, let's see, did I, let's alter all the different letters to the correct ones, old school, I think there we go. No. No. It seems like I cannot type this. So let's see. Five. Five C H. Try hack me. Let's also alter the O to a zero. I think that's there. We have it. So that is the flag, you know, we cannot copy paste from the old DOS pro prompt, have to type it, and I guess there was just a lot of O's, I can see it with the dot in the middle. All right, so that's day five, reverse engineering. We basically had to change a file's magic signature back to the original state. Now, if you didn't know that, it would be difficult for us to actually, you know, guess the right one, but at least we got the answer from the tutorial and walkthrough. Uh, if we were to guess this, we could try different ones. Of course, at the end of the day, we would get the right answer. So, finally, just gonna get a magic. <laughs>